Peter Bobbin here, tax team for National Law Firm Rockwell Olivier, and just following on from some comments that we've earlier made about 264 notices. When it's a 264 notice, Australian Federal Tax Office, that is, it's a demand to turn up to an interview and answer questions, it's important that taxpayers understand. So professional advisors, you need to prep clients on how to respond. What's the key answer on how to respond? Just respond. Don't answer more than what's being asked. If there's a way in which the question can be answered with less words, absolutely do it. Do not expand, do not add to. If it can be answered with a yes or no response, that's an appropriate way to answer. Why? Because what you need to give is focus to the tax office around the question that's being raised. Otherwise, the tax office will just expand their inquiry. Now, maybe they'll do that because, it's in, uh, because they're looking for other things, but what you will find for the professional, that is, that the client will then be the subject of greater costs, greater time, because the tax, the tax office will be looking into other areas. So just answer very precisely as much as possible, whatever the question may be. Don't go beyond that. Um, when it's a 264 notice where the person is being asked to attend, keep the answer short, sharp to the point. That's the key to being able to respond and deal with a Section 264 notice. Thank you.